friend of mine, Bill Randall, radio station WER in Cleveland, Ohio. I recorded a tune called the Crazy Auto Medley. And many thanks to you folks, I did receive a gold record for this. It sold over two million records, stayed number one for 14 straight weeks. So here it is from 1955, a few memories for you and certainly for me, the Crazy Auto Medley. Now this piano doesn't quite sound like the one on the record because we detuned the piano. It was Piano tuner actually come in the studio and detune an old upright. This one, the hammers on this piano have been hardened to give it the sound that you get. But anyway, so here's the crazy auto method.
in those days they ragged everything that could be ragged. They ragged the hymns of that period. One of the best ones is we'll let, uh, right in the corner where you are. I won't do that one. But anyway, I'm going to do for you some of the classics. I'm going to do uh, Rubenstein's Melody in F and Ragtime, off and box Barcarolle. Uh, we'll do uh, uh, From Samson to Lila, the opera, My Heart at Thy Sweet Voice, Dvorak's Humoresque in Ragtime. Then I'll wind up with George O. Cobb's Russian Rag, based on Rachmaninoff's Prelude in C Sharp Minor. Let's rag them. <laughs> Go get them. <laughs>
there were lots and lots of writers of ragtime music. America went ragtime crazy. When John Philip Sousa put his stamp of approval on ragtime, he loved ragtime. He included ragtime in all of his early concerts. And I'm going to play for you two tunes that he introduced. The first one is a ragtime one step, two step from 1901. This was written by a man from Denmark. His name was J. Bodewalt Lamp. And the tune is called Creole Bells, Ragtime Two Step. And then a cakewalk, which was a dance that went along with ragtime, was written by Carrie Mills, who later wrote a very famous piece of music called Red Wing. And this tune is called Whistling Rufus Cakewalk. <laughs> 